Uh, what's up, y'all? Happy December 26th. It's the day after Christmas, and I'm back at the warehouse. I'm back at work. <laughs> That's how it works around here. Um, I had a great, had a great Christmas break. I took uh, yesterday. I took um, 24th and the 25th off from eBay. I had a couple better call Paul jobs still in between those days, but and then I already had a couple better call Paul jobs this morning, and it's about 11 a.m. Now I just got to the warehouse. Um, goal for today is to ship out all that sold for the last two days, which isn't much. Uh, then start listing all these items that I got from the storage units last week. Um, try to consolidate again to make room to keep bidding on more stuff, and then obviously. To obviously list more on eBay, post more, um, just the, the, the usual, the usual work day here today. Uh, so let me um, get to work. So I had four items sell over the last two days, which isn't much, but again, it's like Christmas, Christmas Eve, not much to be on eBay, but I guess four people were. <laughs> so I sold four things. Um, start off with this little bug guy. This I listed a long time ago. This is when I first started on eBay, this was like back in June. Uh, I, had this, I had this bunch of weird stuff around the house that I listed. This was one of them, some hex bug. And I got $7 for him. And I saw this whole bag of uh, army men. I got this at Goodwill for a dollar. And uh, they sold for 14. A bunch of different um, variants and colors and stuff. There was over a hundred, I didn't count them. But I was over a hundred, so that's why I just listed over a hundred army men. And I got $14 for them. So that's a pretty decent flip. I sold these guys. Uh, these are more of these lights that I bought at a yard sale a while ago. I have almost none left. Um, but I got a whole box of these for a dollar. So I'll probably have like five or 10 cents into each packet. And then this sold for $11. So that's awesome. Uh, last but not least, I sold all the Gucci. Uh, this is a Gucci Polo. Um, this is from the Gucci unit. And this guy sold for $50. So. I'm gonna pack all these guys up, take them to the post office, and then continue with my day. Hi, right, y'all, happy Saturday. Um, today, I am not gonna be doing too much work in the shop. I am taking out my Better Call Paul employees out to Fogo de Chao for our Christmas like dinner, Christmas lunch. Um, even though it's already after Christmas, this is the best weekend we had all available. So I have to be in King, <coughs> so I have to be in King of Prussia at 1 p.m. Uh, I'm here now, it's about 10 in the morning. I have a couple meetups to do for some local stuff. Uh, I saw the kitchen table and chairs for my last unit. I saw the mirror for my last unit. Those should be all picked up this morning. And then after Fogo, I'm supposed to meet up with somebody for a trash can and for my coffee table and side table. Um, so if that's gone, the only thing I will have left from the one unit that I bought last week is a mirror, some art, and some small miscellaneous stuff. Like the big stuff is all, it's all gonna be gone. So, so, so like, like I said before, local stuff, if you, if local furniture, if you price it properly, like I do, it moves really fast. So hopefully that's all gonna be gone today. But before that happens, I need to uh, pack up what sold yesterday on eBay. I had a pretty decent day. I had seven sales come in. So I'm pretty, uh, pretty happy with that. I'm getting slowly getting back in the grind of listing more and more things. So hopefully more and more sales come in, but right now I'll take seven for today for sure. First one, surprise sale, is I sold another Christmas ornament because Christmas is over. So you think the ornaments will be done selling, but I sold another one. This one is also from the, this one I also got from the bag of Christmas ornaments for 50 bucks. That bag has been one of my best purchases of all time. Uh, I counted recently, I'm up to almost $600 in sales from that bag alone, and I still have half the bag left. And I still have half the bag left to sell. So that's incredible. Um, this one is from Macy's, it's a Macy's Hermit Crab. And this guy sold, this guy sold for $13. Next, I sold a coffee mug. I recently started listing these. I made a whole, um, I made a whole rack of like fragile uh, items, like cake stands, coffee mugs, plates, bowls, and um, it's all set up there, so it's easy for me to find now. So I can list them easily and find them easily. This is one of the mugs I listed about a week ago, and he sold for $10. Uh, I got him from my first ever storage unit. 
I remember. <laughs> he, this guy was there, $10. So I'll take that for a mug for sure. Next, I finally sold this because I finally listed this. <laughs> this came from the video game unit and I was really hyped to see a PlayStation 1 in there. But unfortunately, the laser is broken, so it doesn't work. So I listed it as broken uh, for parts only and I still got $15 for it. So that's pretty good. I'll take that. Uh, 15 bucks for a broken PlayStation. <laughs> pretty good. Also from PlayStation, I sold this um, Street Skater game. I got this a good one for a buck fifty, and it sold, and it sold for eight dollars. And then I have a couple of apparel items that sold. I sold this Batman Under Armour Kids T-shirt. This came from uh, the No Elevator unit in Ridley Park, and I got thirteen fifty for that. And then I sold two of these uh, CPO pants. These are men's CPO. Pants. I got a green one and I got a gray one. These both came from the Gucci unit and I got $36 for them. I think I had a listing for like 24, 25. And the guy sent me an offer saying, hey, if I buy two, would you take 18 each? And I was like, heck yeah. <laughs> so um, that's all, that all sold. Let me pack them up, take them to the post office. And then I'll, I'll see you guys later. What's up guys, happy Monday. I am in a chipper mood uh, today because first of all, I'm feeling relatively healthy again. So <laughs> that's good. I haven't had that in a while. Second of all, the Eagles won yesterday, which means they clinched a playoff berth and they are going to the playoffs with people I have never heard of <laughs> as their wide receivers. So uh, that's incredible. Um, third, um, stuff is selling. <laughs> which is good i got some good sales on ebay um got some good local sales over the weekend i sold the bed a mirror art something else microwave and uh i should have a couple sales today for like some coffee tables and some trash cans and other stuff like that so stuff is selling and fourth i finally got off my schneid and started editing videos again it took forever uh but i did it last night i edited two videos one i just posted uh, one I posted last night, this morning, I woke up to millions of texts saying, yay, you're back. Not really, but I got two texts saying, oh, look, I decided to post again. It's me, I decided to post again. <laughs> and I edited another video. Let me tell you how behind it was actually. Today is December 30th. I edited a video from like December 11th. <laughs> The first video like ended from like, it was like from like 11th, like the 15th or the 16th. That's how behind it was. And then the other video got me to the 23rd, I think. So I'm still a week behind editing, but I got a good amount of stuff done. So I'm pretty happy. Hopefully like, that, that grind continues and back to editing. But um, it's Monday morning. I'm at the warehouse. Um, it's almost uh, 11 o'clock. I had a better call Paul job I had to attend to before I got to work in here. Better call Paul has been really busy. And it's December, uh, turning into January, which is usually a really slow time of the year for me. And the fact that it's busy is really good because that means I get to make some money. My guys get to have more hours to work. So it's um, good news all around. So I'm just here. I just got to the warehouse. Let me pack. Let me get what's sold over the weekend so I can share that with you real quick. So I had a pretty slow weekend uh, quantity wise, but I had a good weekend quality wise. I'm, I'm pretty happy because I haven't done any work yesterday or Saturday. So um, this week I'm gonna try to jump back into gear and uh, do some eBay, start listing again. It's the new year. So I'm gonna try to uh, get back on the grind and post more and more. Uh, but this weekend I sold six items. First thing I sold is this Batman game. This is a PS4 game. This is from the Blu-ray unit. And I got $10 for it. Uh, I went back to my uh, video game collection. I only have one PS4 a game left to sell from the Blu-ray unit. So I had like less than 10 Blu-rays left and one PS4 game left. So those stuff went pretty quick and I got decent money for it. Then I sold my last Warhammer pamphlet book. This is another army list. Already sold two of these to one guy, and this is uh, sold the last one now to another buyer, and I got seven dollars for that. And I sold on the Power Rangers one. Um, <laughs> they've been moving like crazy. By that I mean I sold five. 
out of the 100 that I have. <laughs> so I have 95 left to go. But I'm, I counted up this morning. I sold uh, four of them for, for $8, and I sold one of them for 10 So I'm already at $32 on these guys. I sold five. I have 100 that I bought for 50 I need to sell like one or two more to break even, and I have 90 more to sell to an all of this profit. So it's gonna be a very slow mover. I knew they going in, uh, but getting them for 50 cents, when I saw they were selling between eight to $10 each on eBay, was just a no brainer for me. You know, I know it's gonna be a long, a long haul in getting them, but I'm happy that I did, and they're gonna slowly, slowly make me money. A couple of apparel sales. I saw this uh, True Religion like World Tour uh, hoodie. That's what the back of it looks like. Um, this came from the, that one came from the Gucci unit and I got $20 for that. And also from the Gucci unit, one of the best sales from that unit was this Louis Vuitton shirt, which sold for $125. I had up pretty high, I had up for 200 and I was getting offers in the eighties and nineties. And then this guy yesterday started offering me things from a hundred. And I was playing a counter offer game with him and we ended up at 125, which made me pretty happy to get 125 for one <laughs> article of clothing. So uh, I'll take that. So the Gucci unit is continuing to kill it for me. Uh, sold two things this weekend for $145 total. And then last, I sold this right here. This is a Sony five disc. This is a, a Sony five disc CD changer. This came from the dagger unit. This was one of the electronics that was in the dagger unit. And actually, let me go look to see what's going on with these guys. I believe, no, I still have two things left. I have a, D a DVD recorder left and I have a Hitachi VCR left. The rest of the stuff from the dagger unit, the rest, of the rest of the electronics all sold. And I got really good money for all of them. So that was a great uh, unit to buy. If you want to see what was in that one, I believe it's um, vlog number 11. I'm pretty sure that's the one. It is, this is one of my favorite vlogs to make. Is the opening is I'm throwing a shoe at Artem. So if you see a, sh a shoe being thrown at Artem, that's, that's the dagger unit uh, <laughs> opening. Um, so this came from it and I got uh, $77 for him. So I need to wrap him in all the bubble wrap that you see down there. I'm gonna wrap him pretty nicely uh, and get him to the post office and get him shipped today. So, yep, those are the sales from this weekend. Like I said, not really good quantity, not good quantity, only six items, but some good quality stuff. 77 here, a 25 there, 125 there, ends up to being pretty much $200 in a weekend. So uh, I will take it. <laughs> I, I am trying not to say that as much, but uh, cause I'm getting called out for all the times I say I'll take it, but I don't know, it's just, I'll take it. I don't know what to say. So let me pack this up. Let me pack these guys up and get them to the post office. So it's been a pretty uh, busy day today. I did some better call Paul work. I had a couple of local sales. I sold a vacuum. I sold a mirror. I sold a monitor. And then I got my truck fixed. So it's up and running again. And um, then a customer gave me um, a table. For free <laughs> so i went picked it up took all the pictures took all the measurements and i uh, posted it today i also did some shopping i stopped by uh, uh goodwill and our uh, consignment shop near me and got some pretty good deals let me show you what i got so we'll do goodwill first um goodwill by me has only been really good for a couple things now for me uh it seems like every time i go in there there's people scanning on uh their eBay app or the Amazon app. So uh, a lot of the good things is probably usually gone by the time I get in there. And I can't hate the hustle because that's what I'm doing too, you know? <laughs> I'm on this uh, RVA Flips Facebook page. A lot of people go in there. A lot of people go in there and complain like, man, every time I'm at Goodwill, people are scanning. And I'm like, bro, you're there for the same purpose. <laughs> so like, I, I can't hate. Like they're there trying to make money like I am. So I respect the hustle. So, as most of you guys know, Goodwill uh, has these dollar tags uh, has these color tag sales so pretty much every single week they have a different tag and that color tag is half off the whole week and then that same tag is a dollar on sunday so this week the color was green and as soon as i came in i saw a bunch of these minor league baseball hats brand new tags 
with a green tag. And the green tag is only $3. So I got it for $150. I have this team right here, which I have to research and see what they are. And then I have a bunch of these guys right here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have seven of these guys. So I have no idea what that, I didn't have to even scan them just to get brand new uh, with tags, minor league baseball hats for a dollar fifty. That's just a great deal. So a funny part, one of the guys that was scanning uh, saw that I had him and he was following me on my cart for about like 10 minutes, <laughs> seeing if I was gonna put him away because I think he wanted to pick him up. And I was like, nah, bro, these are mine. Um, then I took a chance on this. This is a dollar. It's also a new sealed game. I didn't scan this either, but mm, it's like a little card game. It's called Other Nonsense. It's probably worth like 10 to 15 bucks. Uh, for a dollar, it can't go wrong. And then I got a couple of video games. Um, I got Titanfall. Uh, this is with the case, but there's no manual. But it's a green tag, so it's a dollar fifty. And then I got uh, another green tag one right here, uh, Blood Wake, also a dollar fifty. And then I got another one of um, NCA Sports Football 2005 and Top Spin. It's really interesting. Like one half of the game is a football game, the other half is a tennis game. Like even the disc, you can tell, is split up in half. Um, I uh, said so I didn't scan anything, but it's for dollar fifty, you can't go wrong. And then I take a shot on this. Uh, I know Soul Calibur is a pretty good brand. Uh, so this is Soul Calibur Two for Xbox, so I, I paid three bucks for that. Then I went to a uh, consignment shop right next door to Goodwill, and uh, the consignment shop—they already know me in there because I go there quite often. Uh, and every time I go there, I just go straight to the fifty percent off uh, section and um, just buy things from there because. Otherwise, I can't afford it. <laughs> so this is what I got at the Kazami shop. I got this Citrus Express um, peeler and juicer. This originally was five dollars, and I brought it down to three fifty, and I brought it down to two. And it has the yellow tag. Yellow tag means it's half off, so I got it for a dollar. You can't go wrong with that. I'm not sure what's going to sell for it. I, like, I didn't comp anything out, but I got that for a dollar. Um, I got. This uh, Sims PC game there also started out at four, then it went to 320, then it went to 260, and then it was half off, so I got it for a dollar and 30. Um, again, pretty good deal to get a PC game for a dollar 30. These I took a chance on. Um, they're all new sealed, they're like Tony Robbins uh, classic collection, like um, motivational speaking kind of CDs. Uh, there's five of them here, and it started off at nine, then it went to seven, then it went to six, and it was half off. So I got these for three. Uh, there's five of them there. Um, I'm not sure what they sell for. I will have to uh, list them, and hopefully I can get my money back. But I think I could probably get like five each for them, so I'm hoping to get 25 bucks for those. No, I think I took a shout out with these Conair curler things. Um, this was eight, then it became six forty, and it became five, and I got it for half off, so I paid two fifty for this. And this, if it doesn't sell, this would be another like a birthday gift or a Christmas gift. This is paint by number set. This started off at six dollars, then I went to four eighty, and I went to three, and I got it for half off, so I got it for a dollar fifty. So Pretty happy with those purchases. I'm not sure how much I will have total. So, but I spent, did not spend that much in both places. I think I spent like 30 bucks or less and I should get a pretty good uh, results back. So let me list these things. Let me list some other things and uh, get my eBay listings back up.